Southern Africa, we are entering into 2023. I want to share with you something that struck me when I went to Istanbul for our global meeting, apostolic meeting. We went down to Ephesus, glorious city, one of the three greatest cities in the Roman Empire. One of the cities that had one of the seven wonders of the world. And it was rich and it was debauched. You had the Temple of Artemis, the Temple of Diana, all kinds of sexual stuff happening. The environment was anti-Christ, super rich, super self-sufficient. But you know what it says in Acts chapter 19? That extraordinary miracles were done through the hands of Paul. It's the whole handkerchief thing that he sends. And the gospel, the word of God was proclaimed all through Ephesus and Asia Minor through what happened there. I also want to say to you, as we enter into 2023, we go with the favor and blessing of God. And it doesn't matter how small your church is or how big it is. It doesn't matter how small your town is or how big it is. In Ephesus, they saw signs, wonders, and miracles. And it would have been one of those places most unlikely to succeed. I want to say to you, with the power and the favor and the blessing of God, as you go into 2023, we're going to see the word of God proclaimed. And we are going to see signs, wonders, and miracles. So, from Nicola and myself, from the apostolic leadership team, from your cluster leaders, we just speak blessings and favor upon you. And we're going to see the hand of God. You're going to see the hand of God in your church, big or small, in your town, big or small. We're going to see the advance of the kingdom of God in 2023. So God bless you as you go into the new year. The Lord is with you. His favor is upon you. His grace is upon you. Happy 2023.